Hey everyone, it's Exo Man. You know, they say that a boat is a hole in the water that you throw money into. Well, that's kind of true. They're also a heck of a lot of fun. Uh, but now the water pump is going out. But it's been a few years, so that's kind of what you expect. Maybe three years? I don't know. And it should be pretty straightforward, and I hope this video will help you if you have a similar motor and uh, you're a do-it-yourselfer. Let's dive in and get this uh, water pump out of here and see just how hard it is, or just how easy it is. I'm gonna take this part off. There's three bolts here and three on the other side. Let's get those out. Some people say I'm cheap. What I am is thrifty. I save money. Money saved is money earned. And as I always say, hire a pro when you can afford it. Because those guys are gonna, they're gonna do it right versus you possibly making a very, very expensive mistake that has you wishing you'd hired somebody to begin with. Okay, now I've removed six of these, the bolts with the washers. Lest I forget, I wanna tell you now, when you put these back in, put a little marine grade grease on them so that they don't lock in, so they don't freeze, okay? Now there's one more part that you're going to need to release on this particular model, this, this uh, 115 XB, LB, what have you. And that is the, uh, the tr this trim tab that sits down in here, okay? And you've got a, a half inch bolt that goes down into it. And then you've got a 5 16 bolt here that you're going to need to release to, to get out of here. And then, you're, and then you're good to go. That's going to free everything up. We'll set that aside have to release those on this model your your motor may be quite different you might not have to have to do that so make a note of the position of your trim tab before you remove it so you line the line these marks up when you're done when you put it back together now I'm going to pull the lower unit let's see how that goes I have my table here to drop my lower unit just a little bit because there's one more thing on my motor I have a speedometer tube that comes through and I want to rip that out. It comes through right here. You'll be able to see it. Also make sure that your motor's in neutral when you remove your lower unit. Can you see it right here? Right there. You just have to disconnect that little tube right there. And just disconnect that and we should be good to go remember when we come back in with this we're going to line this spline up here that right there and we're going to wiggle this shaft back up into the mower okay now we have to find a place to put that you know, set it up so we can work on it. Let's go see if we got a place over here. Uh, I spy something. Getting put to work? Yeah. I'm putting myself to work. Dad? Hey! Did you mean to have this on? No. Don't be... Don't be photobombing me. It's my, my birthday. All right, so a proper mechanic is going to have a, a mount for this, a seat to put this on. We don't have that. In case you were wondering about my jerry rig, let's see what I've done. Just kind of stabilize it in between two four by sixes, whatever you've got laying around, six by sixes. And, uh, that worked. There's your water pump housing. Okay. Cool. What did you say? It looks like a boat with a really oversized propeller. <laughs> <laughs> Doesn't it? Yeah. <laughs> wow, that thing is huge. <laughs> That's a big <laughs> propeller. Okay, now we're prying this oh, housing off of here. Just 
Just gingerly frying it up. Et voila! Now we've got the housing. Okay. So we're going to be replacing these parts. All right? You see the O-rings. We've got a, a plate here and we've got a gasket underneath it. Here's our this cup. So I'm just going to turn the shaft and pry up like this. Maybe we'll, oh, there we go. Now maybe we can get things off of here. Maybe a little cleaner like uh, some lube or some lithium spray to get this stuff off. <laughs> Clearly. So hopefully we'll get all these parts. See? These are the things that people don't show you in their videos. They show, oh, there's the woodruff key right there. They just show you taking the lower unit on and off. But you're going to have to replace these things. So I'm going to show you how to did it. All right. And of course, you're going to remove your old gasket and plate. All right. So look what I got. got my parts here. The original. These are OEM. That's, uh, that's everything. Look, every bolt and washer is just in a different bag. How about that? Makes it look very complicated. And these are the pins. Parts on. This should be the. Oops. Should be the plate here. All right. Now that we know how to take it apart, you got to know how to put it back together, and and carefully. Don't lose any parts. You don't want to drop parts down in here. All right, so I've got some grease laid out here on my old plate. I put my gasket down. I put my plate down on top of that. I'm going to take some of this grease. I'm going to put it in the housing. Just down in here so I can see my O-ring. And that'll stay in place. You can see these grooves in here where the cup fits down in. I'm going to put some grease here where the larger O-ring goes. So just kind of hold everything in position while I reassemble. Hopefully. Paint that in there just like Picasso. Oh, good. More noise. Okay. I'll take my O ring, work that down into there, smooth it in. My other O ring. Now, put my Woodruff key in place. Put some grease in there. Let's also put some grease on the spline here. And this spline here, wipe that off the top. Okay. Set the woodruff in there. That seems to have gone in there nicely. Can you see that? Set my woodruff in there. Now I have my impeller ready to go. You see the groove? It's got a groove right there. That's going to go down over that woodruff. See? Down. See how that's going to slide right down over the key and it's going to push it out. So what I've got to do is pull that back up. I'd rather push it back in there and then continue dropping the impeller down. Okay? Now, what I've got to do next is seat my cup into the impeller housing. That's going to help hold everything together. 
here. Okay, you see these two little pieces sticking out here? Those are going to go down into those notches, and that's going to kind of line everything up, hold everything in position when the impeller spins in this cup. Okay, it, now that is seated, it went right in. Just kind of wiggle it. Alright, so I've got two flat washers and one wavy washer, and it's in between the two flat washers. So I'm going to drop those over as such. Flat on top, flat on bottom. Alright, those are in position. Here comes the spacer. See that? Let's bring that right down over the tapered end of the shaft and onto the top of those washers. Now we're going to bring the collar down over that. Now to seat that. I'm going to take this old impeller and use that. This is, we'll call this my little invention. How about that? All right, now I've got to seat that. I'm going to seat the collar over the spacer. You've probably never seen this done because I just thought of it, ladies and gentlemen. There we go. Now we take our, our push tool, our collar push tool, our collar setting tool, set it aside. Seriously, that's the old impeller, you know that. Grease in the cup here to make things easier. Put some grease on the impeller. Right? Why, why fight it? Okay, now we're ready to spin the impeller into the cup. Okay, I got my O-ring locked in. I want to go in this position. All right? Got my pins in here. Yes, you see them in here sometimes in the base, but I've got them locked in here into the housing. And just set it on top. I can come and inspect visually, make sure my O ring is still in good place. Now I'm going to push down on the housing and spin clockwise on the shaft, okay? Just to get the impeller to wind in the proper direction. While I'm pushing down, I'm spinning the shaft, thus the impeller, drop everything down to seat it. Now I've already got my brand new bolts greased up and ready to go. I'm going to drop those in. This rubber is pressurized against this and it's creating an upward force, so you're going to want to hold on to this so you don't lose your position. Okay, we've got a couple of bolts in in the threads a little bit. The other two ready. I think the most important thing is the two things here, making sure that you're spinning your shaft clockwise and that you're o-ring is not in the way because you don't want to a you don't want it to be out of position b you don't want to ruin it and we're ready to put this back on i've already greased my bolts Putting a bolt in, hold everything together. I'll to be careful, make sure I have that threaded enough. Okay, now I'm going to reattach the speedometer hose and tuck it all back in here. Now it's time to reinstall my trim tab. But first, let me not forget to put my bottom bolt through. Let's get that in there, half inch. Now 
That just goes straight up into the lower unit. Time to test. I've got my muffs on, not too much water pressure. I'm going to go ahead and test the shifting. couple of notes um, that was about an $80 $85 job parts wise doing it myself uh, and I even using original equipment OEM. Uh, I'll tell you this I wouldn't want to do that for a living for less than $300 definitely not so I would expect to pay at least 250 to 400 to have this done for me plus parts. I'll say it again, if you're not comfortable, hire a pro, because a lot of things can go wrong when you do something like this. And uh, that's about it, and I want to thank you for watching, and uh, good luck with your water pump.